Liam, a cab driver struggling to support his family, stumbled upon an abandoned baby and made a decision to take her home. Months later, he received a chilling call from a lawyer that left him questioning. Liam was a man who had always felt a calling to teach. From a young age, he had known that his life's work would involve sharing his knowledge with others. After earning his degrees in linguistics, he began teaching at the local community college. He quickly gained a reputation as an engaging and inspiring professor, and his classes were always full of eager students. But Liam's passion for teaching wasn't just about imparting knowledge. He saw himself as a mentor and guide for his students, helping them to navigate the complexities of the world and find their own paths. Outside of his work as a professor, Liam lived a comfortable life with his wife Natasha and their three sons. They lived in a beautiful house in one of the city's most exclusive neighborhoods, surrounded by the trappings of wealth and success. Marcus had also published a couple of best-selling books, which brought an additional income and further elevated his status as a respected intellectual. Despite his success, Liam remained humble and dedicated to his work. He spent countless hours preparing for his classes, researching new ideas, and engaging with his students. He believed that teaching was a noble calling, and that it was his duty to give his all to his students. But as is often the case in life, tragedy can strike unexpectedly. One night, just a few days before Natasha's due date, Liam received a call from a colleague who needed him to cover a French class. Although he was already exhausted from a long day of teaching, Liam agreed to help out. He kissed Natasha goodbye and promised to be back before she went into labor. As he drove to the college, Liam felt a sense of unease in the pit of his stomach. He knew that Natasha was close to giving birth, and he couldn't shake the feeling that something might go wrong. But he tried to push those thoughts aside and focus on the task at hand. The French class was a blur of activity, with students asking questions and Liam trying to keep up with the lesson plan. He glanced at his phone several times, but there were no messages from Nat Shah or his sons. He assumed that everything was fine and that he would be able to get home before anything happened. But as he was packing up his things to leave, his phone rang. It was his eldest son, who was crying and struggling to speak. Dad, he said, something's wrong with mom. She's in labor, and it's too soon. Liam's heart dropped into his stomach. He felt like he was in a dream, or maybe a nightmare. He struggled to process the information, to make sense of what was happening. He asked his son to put Natasha on the phone, but she was too weak to speak. Liam raced to the hospital as fast as he could, his mind racing with questions and fears. What if something happened to Natasha? What if the baby didn't survive? What if he had made a terrible mistake by leaving her alone? When he arrived at the hospital, he found Natasha in a bed, surrounded by doctors and nurses. She was pale and weak, but she managed to smile weakly at him. I'm sorry, she whispered. I didn't want you to worry. Liam felt a surge of anger and frustration. He wanted to scream at her, to demand to know why she had kept this from him. But he knew that wouldn't help anything. Instead, he took her hand and kissed her forehead. Natasha had just started complaining of stomach pain, and before they knew it her water broke, and then she began bleeding, they immediately called for help. When the paramedics arrived, they conveyed her to the hospital where she was wheeled into the operating room for an emergency C-section. As Liam waited impatiently for the surgery to be over, time seemed to slow down, although frightened he had a strong conviction that his wife and baby would be just fine. Natasha was a strong woman, and he knew that she was fighting for her life after. What felt like forever, the doctor walked out of the theater looking exhausted and sad. My wife is okay, right? My baby is also in good health, right? Tell me, Dr. Liam asked. And the doctor broke the devastating news to him they had been able to save the baby, but unfortunately Natasha didn't make it. Liam's world came crashing down around him. He was devastated and overwhelmed by grief. He struggled to come to terms with the fact that he had lost the love of his life and the mother of his children. He felt guilty for not being there for her during the emergency and blamed himself for what had happened. 
Returning to work at the college became unbearable for Liam. Every lecture hall, every hallway, every corner of the campus reminded him of his loss. He found himself sinking deeper into depression and skipping lectures. He knew he needed to make a change and find a way to move forward, but he wasn't sure how. One day, Liam decided to leave his lecturing job and become a cab driver. It was a drastic change, but he needed a new start and a way to cope with his grief. Whenever people asked him why he left his prestigious job, he would simply reply that it was his duty to his job that led to his wife's passing and he could no longer continue as a lecturer. Many people understood him and wished him well in his endeavors. After finishing his last ride for the day, Liam picked up his next passenger, a woman in her early 30s with a baby in her arms and a small travel box by her side. She told Liam that she needed to go to the airport, which was a 40-minute drive away. Even though he was ready to go home, Liam agreed to take her and her baby to the airport. Upon arriving at the airport, Liam parked the car and waited for the woman to gather her things. However, she suddenly realized that she had left her passport at home, so she asked Liam to take her back to her house. She promised it would be a quick trip and left her baby in the car with Liam. As Liam waited for her return, he watched the baby sleep peacefully in the back seat. But after five minutes, ten minutes, and then thirty minutes had passed, Liam began to worry. He had no idea what had happened to the woman, and the baby's safety was his top priority. Liam looked into the back seat and noticed that the travel box was no longer there. Panic set in as he realized that the woman had abandoned her baby. Without hesitation, he immediately called the police. The police searched for the woman but they didn't find her, confirming Liam's fears that she had indeed abandoned her baby in his car. Liam left the baby with the police and returned home with a heavy heart. However, he couldn't get the innocent child out of his mind. So, two days later, he returned to the station to get an update about the baby and her mother's whereabouts. When he got there, the cops told him that the mother hadn't been found and that the child was currently in the care of social services. He immediately drove down there, where he met the little girl crying. But as soon as he carried her in his arms, she stopped crying. The staff was shocked because the little girl had barely stopped crying since they picked her up. It was like a miracle. Liam took it as a sign that the girl needed to be in his life, so he decided to adopt her. Within a few weeks, the adoption process was complete, and Liam took the baby home to his sons. And guess what? They all fell in love with her at first sight and promised to cherish and care for her. With the arrival of the baby girl named Rose, Liam and his sons were happier. Everything was going fine for the family until Liam received a call one morning, just four months after he had brought Rose home. That morning, he was getting ready to start his day when he got a call. It was from a lawyer asking him to report to the police station for an urgent matter concerning Rose. They also asked him to bring her along. Throughout the drive, different thoughts ran across Liam's mind. Had Rose's mother shown up? Did she want her baby back? He had grown so attached to Rose that the thought of being separated from her felt excruciating. Liam was introduced to Mr. and Mrs. Xavier, an elderly couple whose faces lit up when they saw Liam holding Rose in his arms. They revealed that they were Rose's grandparents and shared with Liam the story of their daughter Mira, who had been rebellious and went against their wishes by getting involved with a married man who left her as soon as he found out she was pregnant. Mera wanted to have an abortion, but her parents threatened to disown her if she did, so she gave birth to Rose and abandoned her with a stranger out of anger towards her parents. Liam was heartbroken to hear Rose's story but was grateful to have given her a second chance. He wondered if Rose's grandparents would take her away from him, but their response shocked him to his core. The Xaviers were impressed by how well Liam and his family had taken care of Rose and they declared that they would maintain their relationship with Rose as a family. Liam was overjoyed and couldn't believe his good fortune. The Xaviers then expressed their desire to reward Liam's kindness with a generous gift of $3 million. Liam was speechless and filled with an indescribable amount of joy. The family became one big happy family and grew to love each other more with every passing day. What an incredible story. What do you think about this? 
Let us know in the comments below and thank you for watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe the channel and consider watching the video on the screen.